Well, it's a festival sure to make your mouth water. Right now, the John's Pass Seafood Festival is in full swing on Madeira Beach. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck checked it out for us today, and she found business owners hope the festivities raise awareness about a crucial issue impacting their livelihood. Mountains of steaming seafood, drinks served up with style, yeah. and music that propels you to the dance floor. The John's Pass Seafood Festival is celebrating its 40th year. When this started 40 years ago, it was like 20 people around having a cookout. I mean, that's how it all kind of got started. From now through Sunday, there will be hundreds of vendors selling delicious food, arts and crafts, and other items. But I think right now everyone can use that extra boost. And music every night until 9 p.m. It's good to see the community coming back together and opening back up. and. There's plenty of life out here. Business owners at John's Pass hope that the Seafood Festival will call attention to another issue that's now threatening the future of their businesses. If I could have a festival here every month to bring light on this, I would do it. Sand continues to fill into the pass. Just recently, Dylan Hubbard of Hubbard's Marina says one of his boats ran aground on the main channel, causing $50,000 in damage. People walking around and like, holy moly, this is a big problem. Businesses in Johns Pass are begging county and state leaders for help with funding to dredge out the pass and find long-term solutions to keep their businesses alive. If it rains, if it rains Saturday, Johns Pass will be flooded. And that's because of this sand issue. This photo shows you the same area in 2000 versus 2020. As this sand continues to encroach down the boardwalk, we're going to lose these boats. They're either going to do one of two things. They're going to go out of business or they're going to move somewhere else. This weekend's festival will highlight one of the most well-loved attractions in Pinellas County. And now business owners are fighting to keep it that way. We need some help. In Madeira Beach, Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.